Hey Tim, just so you'll know, the way I'm making this video is I went to www.screencast-o-matic.com and then I just pressed start recording and now it's just making a audio and video combined file of whatever I'm looking at. Anyway, so I'm going to my email again and then um, I found sites and because I've made it before the um, practice one testing with Tim is sitting right here but if I wanted to just create one then I would um, go up to that red button uh, like we did earlier but I'm just gonna press testing with Tim this is the um, just the skeleton of what it looks like but if I press this um, pencil then I can edit this and I can say my educational page for um, biology one and I can this is where I can put whatever I want to put here da, 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 da. and if I decide I, oh I want to put a web address in there then I can um, click link and then click web address www.cnn.com and then okay so now I've got a hyperlink on this web page, and if I don't want it there anymore, then I just get rid of it. But again, to put a link, I just um, put it there. I'm, I'm in the editing mode as long as that pencil has been clicked. I can change my font, um, you know, just typically like a word processor. I can make it bold, I can make it italics, I can make it bigger, etc. If I want to put in a picture, I go to insert. This is where I insert a picture. I can insert a link from here or there's like the little um, shortcut here. If you want to be terribly fancy, you can click on HTML and you can just um, write stuff in here in HTML if you wanted to, like this. And then if you wanted to update it, you could. That's just like if you ended up with like um, some kind of HTML code or you know, sometimes you can find widgets and fun things on the internet, and it'll say, if you want to embed this in your website, then just copy and paste, and it gives you, like, this huge code. Well, if you ever had something like that that you wanted to put on this page, then you would just put your cursor right where you want it, and then you would go into HTML mode and then just simply paste it right there. But, anyway, um, I'm going to put a picture in, insert an image. Um, we will browse for an image and... We should use my son's um, Halloween costume from last night. And so now here is his picture. If I want to get rid of it, I can click remove. If it is too big, I can click small, like I want it smaller. And again, as long as it's the you know last thing I just did, then it's going to be down here as something I can change it or remove it or whatever. If I wanted to change it, then you know I could I could change it there. But um, anyway, uh, that's how you put in a picture. You can have multiple pages, like you know the typical parent page, and then the sub pages in any like you have in any website or whatever. But um, basically, you're just fiddling around with the the. Then it doesn't have tons of fonts, but a few fonts, the size, some of these things, the colors, the um, adding a link, adding a picture, and then if if I got this the way I totally liked it, and then I would click uh, click save. And now what I need to do is go back to my list of sites and um, get my URL. This is the URL. And so now I'm going to um, go up here to sites.google.com slash that. So basically the, the web page I just made is that. And when I look at it, it's going to have this pencil and all this stuff up here because I am still in editing mode and I'm logged in. But if a person who was not logged into my email account went into it, then they would only see like this stuff. They wouldn't see this stuff over here. Um, so anyway, 
if I loved it and was all done, then I could just copy and paste that whole URL, go to tinyurl. Dot, I gotta do it right, don't I? Com. And then um, I could just paste it in here and then give it your shorter name. Whoops, I'd have to put it in here. Tim, exclamation point, whatever we want. And then I would just click um, done. I mean, make tiny URL, and then it would just make it. So I hope that I gave you enough info about how to do that. Um, oh, wait a minute. One last thing I've got to show you. This button here for share, for some reason, it always defaults to, like, this worry that people are actually going to see this web page. Well, I imagine that most people make web pages because they want people to see it. But so you have to remember to click share and then basically just change it so that people are allowed. Like, do you want everybody in the world to be able to see it? Like they could go to the internet and type in Google like Tim's educational page and like find it? Or do you want only people who've been directly given the link? Like they either type it in directly or they click on a hyperlink to it. Or only people at your school who are logged into your same email um, situation. Or if you're not anywhere done with it and you don't want anybody messing with it or accidentally seeing it before it's done, then you can set it to private. But in real life, if you wanted to give it to parents and stuff, you would just click public on the web and then you would click save. And then I usually get paranoid and go back and test it. And the way I test it is I'll totally like log myself out of my email account. And then I'm like not in my email account. So I'm as if I were some parent just somebody who is not me and yeah now see I can get there so that's how you do it super easy and uh, let me know if I can help you with anything else bye